Terps are still dealing with the loss of Riley Nelson, who tore her ACL a couple of games ago. It's a big loss for this Maryland team. Yeah, but this Maryland team has kind of been tasked with resiliency all year long. It's a next woman up mentality. And away we go from the Xfinity Center. The line I start with is Adelia McKenzie to Makaira Cook. McKenzie on the wing. She'll go inside. Now Kendall Bostick to Cook. Illinois taking up some time here on the shot clock with this first possession. This is a three on the way. It's a bit short. Ball saved, though, by Bostick, and Illinois still with it. Genesis Bryant fakes the three, puts it up. It's off. Offensive rebound to Illinois. Javi puts it up and in, and the game's first points go to Illinois. Cheyenne Sellers now for Maryland. To Brene Alexander, Jakia Brown-Turner. Brown Turner today going up against a couple of her former teammates as Bree McDaniel takes it inside and gets it to go. Jakia Brown Turner, Genesis Bryant, and Camille Hobby, all former NC State Wolfpack. So that's certainly interesting to watch today. And they're on the sideline. Brenda Freeze making quite a fashion statement today with a sparkling jacket. Turnover here for Illinois, here come the Terps. Jakia Brown-Turner all the way, puts it up and it rolls off. Bostick the rebound. Cook, inside. Now back out, Bostick. Dribbles once, shoots the three, misses. Hobby with the, uh, another offensive rebound. And now Cook up top will reset for Illinois, looking for their first ever win against Maryland today. Nice pass inside, Hobby lays it in. Maryland meanwhile playing in their third consecutive home game after their game against Purdue was moved to the 14th of January. The Xfinity Center decided to leak before that game was originally happened. There are no leaks in the roof today. Here's a block by Bostic on the three by Alexander. Fast start to this one. Cook thought about the three, goes inside to Hobby. Cook again, Sellers guarding her. 17 on the shot clock. And now McKenzie puts up the three and hits it. There was a deep two, excuse me, but a fast start for Illinois, they lead 6-2. They've came out aggressive, and that's kind of the formula you have to have against this Maryland team. They can be explosive, but Illinois wants to show they can explode themselves, try to break out a little early. Alexander. Kubek down low. Backing her way inside. Little hook shot is good. Ali Kubek on the board for two. She's Maryland's leader in field goal percentage, around 54%. Down low to Hobby. Puts it up, that's gonna be short. Rebound to Cheyenne Sellers, and Cheyenne Sellers having a tremendous season for the Terps. She's leading the team in almost any category, but a turnover here. And Adelia McKenzie will lay it up and in. A quick start, Illinois leading eight to four. Mentioned Cheyenne Sellers leading the team in free throw percentage, points per game, rebounds per game, assists per game, and total blocks as well. She's having a fantastic season as she'll go down here First foul of the game is going to come on Makaira Cook. And Illinois. Lavender Briggs will check in. Sorry, Ben. Yeah, Brian. Illinois getting those points off the turnover right there, and that's something we highlighted in the open. Maryland, 16 turnovers a game, and Illinois, a team that doesn't turn the ball over as much. So something Maryland has to keep under control, especially in the first half. Here's Bree McDaniel. Jumper, top of the key is good. Bree McDaniel. Averaged 22 points in the team's last two games. Been a real bright spot for this Maryland team. Some good defense here by the Terps and a steal by Chiquilla Brown-Turner and great ball of movement, McDaniel lays it in. Cheyenne Sellers with a dime to the sophomore from Chicago. That's the result of good defense right there, McDaniel. Confident stroke on the jumper, getting it done on the other end. You can't run the break better than that. Tied at eight here, Makaira Cook gets that to roll in and gives Illinois the lead back. Bree McDaniel, all by herself. Lavender Briggs to Faith Masonis. Q 
excuse me, that was Kubek with the touch. Three on the way for Bree McDaniel. She started the game scorching hot. She's got nine of Maryland's 11 to start the ball game. McKenzie hits the jumper and a lot of offense here to start this one. 12-11 Illini. Hot hand for Maryland, Bree McDaniel. Briggs, jumper, it's gonna be short, gets her own miss. Ali Kubek for three, that's off. Nice offensive rebound though, Jakia Brown-Turner. And a fast start for both teams offensively here this afternoon. Makaira Cook with it for the Illini. Kendall Bostic with a touch. McKenzie on the wing, driving inside on Schellers. And Cheyenne Schellers pokes it away. McKenzie gets it back, but puts it up and off. And the rebound to Brown Turner. Cheyenne Sellers passes up the three, drives inside, puts it up and off. Offensive rebound, Ali Kubek cleans it up. 15-12, Terps. I like the decision there from Sellers to drive. She had a look at the three, but Sellers very good at weaving through traffic as we saw right there. You get the offensive board as well. Genesis Bryant goes down and that will take us to our first timeout. Emily Fisher, Faith Masonis in the game for Maryland and Faith will get a touch here. Lavender Briggs with it, now Jakia Brown-Turner. Down low, nice pass by Masonis to Briggs, to Emily Fisher. The freshman from Libertyville, Illinois. And it's 17-12. Nice tip there by Sellers. Bryn Shoup Hill in the game for Illinois. And Makaira Cook with it. Turnover here for the Illini. Nice defense by Maryland. A 6-0 run for the Terps over the last minute 30. And a five point lead. This Maryland defense is really anchored down. They like to run out of that half court trap that they do, but everything kind of falls back into place when they hop back into that zone. They force a couple of bad passes like right there. Here's Lavender Briggs. Sellers, jumper. Off, and the rebound to Bryant. Cook, leading the way for Illinois. Bostic with a turnaround jumper is good. Kendall Bostic, former Michigan State Spartan, 2022 Big Ten honorable mention for Illinois. Averaging about nine rebounds per game for the Illini. Nice move, Jakia Brown-Turner can't get the finish, and Bostic secures the miss. It's her third rebound of the first quarter. Genesis Bryant. Nice defense by Sellers, but it leaves Bostic open, and the jumper is pure. Faith Masonis ahead of the pack, going into the paint. Lost it for a second and finds Sellers. Sellers. Jakia Brown-Turner. And a foul coming on Illinois, and there you see both teams shooting over 50% to start here today. Illinois at 57%. As Bree McDaniel will check back into the game for Chiquita Brown-Turner. An efficiency for Illinois, five of their last six. It's been by the way they've moved the ball effectively and they've just taken good shots. They've settled for open jumpers and they've been effective in knocking those down. Sellers, nice dish inside. Faith Masonis thinks she slipped. And she's a little slow to get up. Makes her way back to the end of the, end of the court. And now Bryant. Looks like Faith Masonis is all right, but that looked like a hard fall. And that might have been a travel, yeah. Travel on Gretchen Dolan. Let's take a look at what happened to Faith Masonis here. Yeah, just kind of lost her balance. Looked like looked like clean defense from Shoup Hill and Faith will check out. Ali Kubek will come back into the game. 
As Bree McDaniel almost turns it over, it'll stay with Maryland. Sellers to inbound for the Terps. She almost turns it over and it's out of bounds to Maryland again. Terps haven't scored in the last two minutes after that quick little 6-0 run and Illinois has made five of their last six. Six points in the first quarter for Adelia McKenzie. And Bree McDaniel with nine here in the first quarter. Looks like we have a wet spot on the floor. What's impressive about Maryland holding this one point lead, when a team is shooting eight of 14 from the field, you, that might signify that you might be down in the game, but Maryland has almost been equally efficient as Illinois has been. Both teams offensively very good so far. Yep. Here's Bree McDaniel. All the way, Bree McDaniel almost got the and one, but she'll go to the line for two and a chance for a double digit first quarter for Bree McDaniel. Yeah, you could see with her expression jumping up and down after that. She really thought she should have had that one for the three-point play. Got a really good look at it, just didn't roll her way. Quite the season for Bree McDaniel and quite the afternoon so far. Nine points, four of four from the field. And the free throw, though, will rim out. McDaniel struggling from the free throw line, shooting just about 65%. Second is good, that'll give her 10 in the first quarter. Two point lead for the Terps. Gretchen Dolan with it. Nice play by Bryant to get through all the way inside and a great pass to Bostic who lays it in. Tied at 18. Sellers on Genesis Bryant. Sellers. Backing her way out. Looking for some help, can't find anybody. Now gets it to Briggs. Back to Cheyenne Sellers. She wanted to go to Kubek inside, wasn't there. She'll take it herself, miss the layup. Tip to Kubek, she can't finish. It's still loose and finally out of bounds to Maryland with 44.4 on the game clock in the first quarter. Key Brown Turner will check back in. Cheyenne Sellers will have a rest. Kubek down low to McDaniel. McDaniel off one leg, can't get it to go. And we have a jump, possession arrow. We'll keep it here. And you take a look there, both teams with eight rebounds in the first quarter. Terps haven't scored a field goal in the last three minutes over their last five. Now Emily Fisher will give to Brown Turner. Kube. Briggs driving, looking for help, finds it. McDaniel lost it. And Illinois will look to push here. Shot clock is off, so we'll see how fast they want to go. Bryant, that's a travel, yeah. And another turnover. Shauna Green's upset because I mean, the shot clock was off. Illinois could have kept the ball for the last shot of the first quarter, and they didn't. And you see she's a little upset about that. And now Maryland will have the final shot of the first quarter. They actually called an offensive foul on the other end on Genesis Bryant. Threw an elbow. McDaniel's going to float it up and in. How about 12 in the first quarter? For Bree McDaniel, she's down on the other end, writhing in pain, unfortunately. And I think they're gonna have to take a look at Bree McDaniel. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. Here's Dolan now to Bryant. Terps have been pressing really all afternoon. So far, Dolan. And a bad pass gets under the legs 
of McKenzie. And Illinois turns it over again. That's eight in the first half. Their season average is 11 per game. So sloppy with the ball certainly is Illinois here in the first half. And it's crazy that they've turned the ball over so much considering they're 11 of 20 from the field. They've been great offensively, but eight turnovers has kind of nullified that a little bit. Boy, Brenda Fries was screaming at Bree McDaniel. Some instructions. Faith Masonis fakes. And gets it back. Beautiful dish from Cheyenne Sellers. Faith Masonis lays it in. And that's how Sellers has gotten so much better as a player this year. Normally looking to score first right there. She's done a great job operating out of that pick and roll, whether it's with Masonis or Kubek, whoever. Really well done on the offensive end there by Marilyn. Cook to Bryant for three in and out. Offensive rebound saved by Illinois. That's their fifth of the afternoon. Maryland with seven. Here's Makaira Cook. She's going to try a three. That's off. Faith Masonis the rebound. And here comes Faith Masonis the other way. Oh, another great pass. Maryland with great ball movement. Ali Kubek will go to the line. Some quick passing by Maryland on that possession will result in two free throws for Ali Kubek. I think that's why Marilyn likes Missona so much. Someone that as good as she is on the defensive glass, she can also push the ball in transition like we just saw. That was a great pass for her to set up the next pass to get Kubek to the line. Ali Kubek, 64% on the year. Gets the first. Biggest lead so far for Maryland is six, and now it's seven. Key Brown Turner will check back into the game. Good defense there on Makaira Cook by the Terps. Dolan to Bryant. Cook up top. Dolan back to Cook. Bostic. Genesis Bryant hits the three, and Illinois needed that shot. Four point game again. Lavender Briggs already has a three in this game. Jakia Brown Turner to Faith Masonis down low. Briggs thought about it. Nice spin move by Lavender Briggs off the window and the rim. It's off. And here comes Bryant. Genesis Bryant to Kendall Bostic. Now Cook. Got a mismatch here with Kubek. Now McDaniel to Hobby. Genesis Bryant. Drive here by Cook, that's short. As the shot clock expires, Masonis to Briggs. Briggs tried to find McDaniel, instead she'll turn it over. And you know she's Maryland a tough team. player and, and she's gonna wanna be out there for her team and that's what she's doing. Bostic to Bryant. Bostic again. Now Cook, and a foul. I believe this is gonna be on McDaniel, or it's actually gonna be on Cheyenne Sellers. That's Sellers first of the afternoon. 3.22 to go here in the first half. Bryant with it, she's got five for Illinois in the first half. Hobby with six, Bostic with six to lead the way. Hobby's gonna pull the jumper and she drills it. One of three former NC State players on the court today, Camille Hobby. Bree McDaniel, it looks like she's fine. in the first half. Here's Bryant. Dolan's gonna try to answer back. She cannot, McDaniel the rebound. 
Terps have hit four of their last five, and McDaniel was looking for Faith Masonis and turns it over. McDaniel, six for seven from the field, two for two from beyond the arc. And a five-point Maryland lead, two and a half to go first half. Here's Makaira Cook to Bryant. Nice pass inside, Hobby, that's good. Camille Hobby up to eight now. 34-31, very tightly contested first half. Largest lead's been seven. Maryland had that a few minutes ago. Here's Faith Masona. She has not scored a ton today, only two for her. But always making an impact in other areas of the game. Three boards for her. As Bree McDaniel goes with the shot clock winding down, scoops it up, it's no good. Illinois coming the other way. Makaira Cook inside, up and off. Rebound to Faith Masona. She saves it and gives to Sellers. Sellers falls, no travel called. Shauna Green wanted it, no foul either. Masonis driving, gives to Sellers. Cheyenne Sellers going to work inside, turns around, puts it up, no good. Offensive rebound to Sellers, back to Faith Masonis, and now Bree McDaniel. That was quite a sequence. Now they get to reset here with their guard. McDaniel around a screen. Nice dish, Ali Kubek rolls it in. That's what happens with the reset. You can set up that pick and roll, which they've been so effective in. Here's Makaira Cook. A minute to go, first half. Bostic, jump shot, no good. Foul coming on Maryland. Crowd doesn't like it. And let's take a look at that great pass by Bree McDaniel to Ali Kubek, able to roll it nicely off the rim. Great camera work there by our fabulous Big Ten Plus crew. Lavender Briggs will re-enter for the Terps. 50 seconds to go in the first half. And Camille Hobby's fouled. I think Maryland lost her on the inbounds. Brenda Fries looked a little upset about that. Foul is on Jakia Brown Turner. It'll be her first. Nobody really in foul trouble for the Terps. Ali Kubek's got two. That's about it. Two free throws coming for Camille Hobby. First is up and in. 76% free throw shooter the fifth year from Jacksonville. Gets both. Back to a three-point game. Here's Cheyenne Sellers. Looking for some help. Nice fake by Briggs, lost it for a second. Jakia Brown-Turner with the jumper, it's good. Jakia Brown-Turner, her second bucket of the game, she's got four. Back up to a five point Maryland lead. And Illinois this time will take their time with the final shot of the first half. Still Genesis Bryant. Bostic, clock winding down. Hobby, Dolan at the horn, got it! The three for Gretchen Dolan to end the first half. Ends a tightly contested first half. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. Cook to Hobby. Cook again, driving inside. Dolan, jumper, good. Gretchen Dolan, her second bucket of the game. She's got five. The freshman from Buffalo. Long jumper, that's way off by Jakia Brown-Turner. 
Bryant the other way. Cook. Looking for options, weaving her way through. With Faith Masonis on her. Hobby. Looking for options. Shot clock winding down at seven. Bryant slips. Puts up a three and hits it. Oh boy. Big time shot by Genesis Bryant. Cuts the lead to five. And back up top to Bree McDaniel. That possession looked a little lost there for Illinois and Bryant saved it. By hitting the triple, Illinois now three for 11 from long range. Sellers, yes, Cheyenne Sellers with six. Back to a seven point game. And Sellers goes down here, no call. Cook driving and she will, she will get a call. Sellers took a big shot. And she'll check out for Lavender Briggs. If you're Illinois, you have to start attacking the basket, get to the line, get some points with the clock stop because it's three point shot certainly hasn't been working for him. Three for 11 so far. Two free throws for Makaira Cook. Illinois four for four from the line. Now five for five. Cook came over with Shauna Green from Dayton last season. And she scored her 1,000th career point against Maryland last season. Under three to go, third quarter, Cheyenne Sellers. With the Terps up by five. Been a tightly contested game really all throughout. McDaniel. Faith trying to get post position. Wild shot by Bree McDaniel. Probably trying to draw a foul. Didn't get it. And here come the Illini. Bryant. Tripped up and more free throws coming for Illinois. As Maryland's over the limit. And this is an Illinois team coming off of one of the most successful seasons in program history. They were a six seed in the NCAA tournament. They fell in the first round to Mississippi State, but boy, they got some great experience. And they are hoping to find themselves in the big dance once again this year and win a game. Yeah, under Shauna Green, having to essentially build this program back up after some down years. It's a good sign to get it done in year one, but still certainly a lot of work to be done. And you really got to give a coach a couple, you know, at least a good four to five years to really see where you can take that program. It's going to be great to see what Green can do with Illinois. Really feels like she's brought some stability to this program. Faith Masonis, turnaround, short. Hobby the rebound. Illinois can tie with a three. Makaira Cook. Driving to the left, puts it up and off. Rebound, tipped, controlled by Faith Masonis. Nice pass by Masonis to Jakia Brown. Turner, yes! Got the friendly roll. 56-51. Here's Genesis Bryant. To Cook. She's got six. Bryant's gonna jack up another one, and chill it. 13 for Genesis Bryant, it's a two point game. Minute to go, third quarter. Sellers, short, got her own miss, puts it in. Cheyenne Sellers, up to eight, and back to a four point game. It's been a little bit quiet, Ben, but Illinois, very much in this game, they kind of crept their way back in slowly, but surely. That three no good by Bostic. Maryland with the rebound. And Cheyenne Sellers tried to get fancy there. That's a kick. Felt like Maryland's tried to get kind of too fancy at times with these long passes throughout the game today. And Brenda Fries again making quite a fashion statement this afternoon. You know the old saying, look good, coach good. Yeah. 
Is that, a, is that the old saying? It is now. Okay, noted. Sellers, jumper, will roll in. Giant Sellers in double digits. Six point game again. Illinois is gonna take their time here. Maryland will get the final shot of the quarter. Bryant, Bostic, Dolan. Bostic's gonna take the three, it's good. Clock winding down, Briggs, tough shot, no. Tipped to Bostic. Half court he from Dolan at the end is off. And that will end the third quarter. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. Now Briggs for three, that's a big shot. By Lavender Briggs. Her second of the afternoon, back to a four point game. Down low, Bostic, no, but she'll head to the stripe. Bostic has had a nice afternoon, nine points and seven rebounds for her. And she'll get two free throws, 77% from the stripe. It's the first Illinois nine for nine from the free throw line today. Now 10 for 10 and back to a two point game. It's been close all throughout this afternoon. McDaniel inside, nice pass to Kubek. Can't finish, but she's fouled and she'll get two shots. Fouls on Genesis Bryant. And that's her third, so a bit of foul trouble. Maybe early in the fourth quarter for Genesis Bryant. She's gonna stay on the floor for now. Ali Kubek will get two shots. She's already hit two today. And has another one, 64-61. Eleven and four so far for Ali Kubek, the junior from Elkton. Makaira Cook now. The Illini down by four. Bryant going to the left. Nice pass inside. Bostic finishes. Great pass by Genesis Bryant. Her fourth assist. And a two point game, 65-63. Both teams are shooting 49% for the game. Sellers almost traveled. McDaniel, Jakia Brown-Turner steps back, off. And Illinois can tie the game here with a bucket. Bryant spinning, putting it up and in, and we are tied at 65 with eight minutes to go. This pass tipped. Maryland ball and the Illini bench making some noise now. We're tied up at 65 with eight minutes to go. Quite the battle this afternoon here at the Xfinity Center. Brenda Freeze a little bit hot on that sideline. Inbound to Kubek. Nice spin by Sellers. Kubek counted and won. A nice pass from Cheyenne Sellers. Give her nine assists on the day now. And that's four fouls on Genesis Bryant. One shot for Allie Kubek. She's up to 14. And she's up to 15. She's hit all five of her free throws. She's taken five of the seven free throws for Maryland. Bryant to the cup and she got hit. So the whistle 
a little more active here in the fourth quarter. Caden's gotten a little bit more physical. It'll be Faith Masonis to check in for Kubek. And Brenda Fries gives her some instruction over there on the Maryland sideline. Genesis Bryant makes the first free throw. Illinois still perfect at the stripe. 11 for 11, she'll try to make it a one point game again. And she does. Adelia McKenzie back into the game. She'll go and get Genesis Bryant, who's gonna have to sit for probably a few minutes with four fouls. Bree McDaniel hasn't scored yet in the fourth quarter. She's at 20 points. Nice passing here, Jakia Brown. Turner! 4-3. Terps have hit a couple here in the fourth quarter, 71-67. Makaira Cook. Bostic thought about it. Dolan is hit by Cheyenne Sellers. That'll be Sellers second. And the third team foul of the quarter. Look at this ball movement here. Faith Masonis, six assists for her. Jakia Brown Turner up to 11. Dolan. Nice defense there by Maryland. McKenzie, free throw line jump shot. Too strong. Brown Turner the rebound. She'll find Sellers. Brenda Freeze calls out the play. Under seven to go. Four point Maryland lead. Sellers slips, turns it over. Seen that a couple times. Here today, Cook, jumper, short. Brown Turner, another rebound. Sellers to Briggs to McDaniel. Briggs to Sellers, now Faith Masonis. And a foul coming on Illinois. Boy, if you're Maryland right now with Genesis Bryan not on the floor, it feels like it's a really critical time for them to try and extend this lead. Yeah, at this point in the game, Illinois has crept its way back in and you really gotta find a way to close out at this point. Illinois has done well offensively. Sellers misses, Brown Turner puts it back in. There was nobody there to get that rebound for Illinois. Makaira Cook with the crowd chanting defense. Gretchen Dolan, six point lead for Maryland. Reverse layup is good. Gretchen Dolan's had some big buckets. She's got seven. 73-69. McDaniel. Down low, Brown Turner takes a dribble and scores. Brenda Freeze calls timeout. as Maryland looks to try and close this out against a really pesky Illini team who just will not go away. Here's Makaira Cook. Genesis Bryant back in the game for Illinois with four fouls and five and a half to go. Faith Masonis guarding her up top, got a mismatch for Bryant. Stops. It was tipped to Hobby, shot clock winding down. Hobby turns around, no. Here comes Maryland, Bree McDaniel. McDaniel looking for options and a foul on Illinois. That'll be the fourth team foul on the Illini with 5.01 to go. The foul's on Kendall Bostic, that's her second. And yeah, she just kind of shoved Faith Masonis there. 
McDaniel driving inside. Jumper for Bree McDaniel, that's too strong. Rebound to Hobby. Illinois still with plenty of life, down by six late stages here in the fourth. Bryant to Cook. Makaira Cook with eight. She struggled from the field, just three for 11. Bostick. And we're gonna get an offensive foul. Cheyenne Sellers draws the charge. And we're going the other way. That's a huge swing right there. Shauna Green could not believe it. Still has words for the officials. And Sellers looked like maybe moving, but they're making to say out of control on the Shana offensive Shauna Green player. is really unhappy. Still yelling at the official. We're on the far side. Cheyenne Sellers finds Faith Masonis. And Masonis turns it over. Still a six point game, four minutes to go. Down low to Bostic, she can't finish. And Shauna Green screaming for a foul. Doesn't get it. Boy, she's been really animated over there on the Illinois sideline today. McDaniel, Brown Turner, wide open three. And take it to the bank. Nine point lead for Maryland, three and a half to go. Bryant up top, Illinois really needs a hoop here. Bryant almost lost it. Maryland brings a double, it rolls off of Bryant's foot. Maryland ball after the timeout. What a fourth quarter for Jakia Brown Turner trying to will Maryland to victory. She's got 10 and we're actually gonna keep it right here. Briggs finds Brown Turner, fakes the three this time, puts it up off the glass. It's Jakia Brown Turner time here in the fourth quarter. Maryland leads by 11. Makaira Cook responds with a three, cuts it back to eight. That's what Illinois really needed. And Jakia Brown Turner now a double double, 20 and 10 for the NC State transfer. Sellers down low. And an offensive foul. Briggs threw an elbow at Bryant. It's risky by Bryant there. If she, if things don't go her way there, that she could fall out of the game, but she does a nice job to draw the charge. Ali Kubek back into the game. She's got four fouls as well. Faith Masonis checks out. Here's Makaira Cook, Illinois. Still with some life and a foul on Bree McDaniel. Brian involved in it again. That's her second. And Illinois will be shooting, both teams actually will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. Just big, you get some points on the board with the stop clock here if you're Illinois. It'll be one and one. For Genesis Bryant, she's got 17 points. Adelia McKenzie will check in for Dolan. Free throw is good. And you see 18, four and four for Genesis Bryant. Quite an afternoon for her. She gets both free throws. She's got three threes as well. She's eight, excuse me, seven for seven from the free throw line. Six point Maryland lead, about two minutes to go. Down low, Kubek. She's been good for Maryland today. Going inside, tough shot and she gets it to go. Ali Kubek. Up to 17. Eight point Maryland lead, two minutes to go. Makaira Cook to Bostic. Outside to Bryant, 11 on the shot clock. They gotta go quickly here. 
Bryant, driving baseline, finds Hobby, jumper good. Back to a six point game. 1.35 to go. Cheyenne Stellar is maybe gonna try and milk some clock here for Maryland. Ali Kubek down low and a push on Kendall Bostic. Three throws for Maryland and it's Bostic's second foul of the afternoon. And Jakea Brown Turner is going to check in at the next available opportunity for Maryland. Brene Alexander shooting two. She's got three points and make it four. Maryland seven for eight now at the free throw line. Both free throws are good, and you see that every starter for Illinois in double digits today. Just not a lot of help from the Illini bench. Illinois down by eight here, getting pretty late for Shauna Green's squad. Here's Bryant. Bostic looking down low. Hobby, Kubek's got four fouls. And they call a jump ball. And the arrow's going Maryland's way. What a job by Ali Kubek. And Brenda Freeze loves it. The way Maryland has closed this game thus far has really been a thing of beauty. Defensively, great job on those defensive possessions. And then getting good shots. Three of their last three field goals have gone in. Getting the line as well. Overall, great job. Approaching a minute to go. That's not what you want to turn over there. Adalia McKenzie's going to take it all the way. It's back to a six point game. Bree McDaniel, we're under a minute. Find Sellers. Let's see if Illinois decides to foul. Can't be Bryant. Can't be Bryant, that's right. She's got four. And a hard screen by Ali Kubek allows Cheyenne Sellers to lay it in. And Brenda Freeze will talk it over with her team. 43 seconds to go and a whistle before the inbounds. And I think Illinois called a timeout. Jawing here, and the inbound comes to Makaira Cook as the clock winds. Makaira Cook going all the way, can't get it to fall, but she will shoot two. Illinois has yet to miss from the charity stripe today. They're 14 of 14, and two big ones here for Makaira Cook. And now you feel like Illinois has got a foul on the inbounds. Try and extend the game as much as they possibly can. Makaira Cook, good from the line. Leading the team in free throw percentage. She's fantastic at the line, 87%. Hits them both, pure. Brenda Fries calls timeout. Maryland has one, Illinois has one. Alexander to inbound. Finds Bree McDaniel, and there is the foul right away. One timeout left for each team. It'll be Bree McDaniel going to the free throw line. She's one for two from the line. Ali Kubek will come back in. And for Illinois, Camille Hobby will return. So Shauna Green counters that. And Bree McDaniel, who hasn't scored in the fourth quarter, had an incredible first quarter, and looking for her 21st point of the game. And she's got it, not the greatest free throw shooter, 65%, but the first one there, a big one, to put Maryland up by seven. Got them both. 88-80, clock is running. Makaira Cook around some defenders. Looking for options down low. Hobby, clock still running. Hobby puts it up, that's in. And Brenda Fries will spend her last time out. Cameron Rhodes for Illinois in for the first time today. Almost a steal by Illinois. Instead, Cheyenne Sellers will go to the free throw line. 
for two shots and really to try and maybe put this one away. Eight point game with 25.9 is gonna be awfully hard to come back from for Illinois. Terps definitely got what they wanted with yeah. that inbound to get Sellers the ball. Yep. First free throws for Cheyenne Sellers today. Maryland's 10 for 11 from the line. Excellent free throw shooting in this game by both teams. And the first is good, 90-82. Excuse me, 89-82. This one would make it 90-82. And she does. And Shauna Green now will use her final timeout against Michigan State, expecting a great atmosphere for that one as well. Makaira Cook trying to get to the basket. Finds Bryant, jacks up the three, it's no good. Rebound to Cook, clock is at 15. Bryant's got it again, it's gonna fire another three. That one's wide to the left. Sellers secures, throws it to Kubek, and Maryland is going to have the victory. Highly competitive game in College Park. Brenda Freeze and the Maryland Terrapins bounce back 90-82, the final score between Maryland and Illinois.